and welcome back to my channel. Today's episode is going to be a lot of fun because Alex and I are trying a few different donut shops on Long Island. Full disclosure, all of these are in what we call the South Shore of Long Island. There were like one or two that were out east or really far up north, but we thought maybe to just kind of save time we would do all of these that happen to be sort of in the same area. There is a new place called Duck Donuts opening either January 15th or 22nd, but we are filming this before those two dates just because we're free. <laughs> For today's video, we are going to try in this order Spiga Bakery in Belmore, Doology in Limbrook, and Doe Hut in Long Beach. So right now we're going to head over to Spiga. I'm excited. I have not eaten anything today. I brought coffee with me. I guess we're ready to go. We are at the Spiga Bakery parking lot and I'm just looking at the Yelp reviews first to see if anyone said that we should get certain kinds of donuts that they really liked. This one lady, shout out to Beth L, she has posted one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine reviews. It was one review and then everyone's just like a reply after. It seems like she's tried all the donuts and she really likes them because all of these reviews are five stars. I I saw a lot of people talk about the maple bacon donut, so we should definitely get that. There's a white chocolate rum donut that people have also talked about, so maybe we'll try that. There's a cannoli donut people are talking about. There's like an almond cream pignoli donut. Okay, yeah, so we're gonna go in now. Whoa. We just left Spiga Bakery. We're actually just back in the parking lot because it's loud in there. We got three donuts and they were each either $1.50 or $1.75. So super, super, super affordable, especially for donuts this size. And they're like really dense and you can tell they have a lot of stuff in them. So what we're gonna try first is the maple bacon donut. Hmm, let me try some more. So it is a good donut. I taste a lot of this like sort of vanilla maple frosting. And I know some people might feel kind of turned off by the fact that there's bacon on it, but I've had maple bacon donuts where you can taste the bacon a lot. Like it's very overpowering. This, I almost can't even taste it that much. It's sort of just there to like add texture, which is really nice. Alex, you want to try it? <laughs> I'm an unpaid intern. <laughs> oh, here we go. Ready? Yeah. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Mm. Oh, it's nice. Donut's really chewy, buttery. I think the vanilla, when it's offset by the bacon, tastes like lo song. Oh, a little bit. A I little. mean, that's also pork. Yeah. I think I think it's a really nice combination. Although I I don't really like usually get maple bacon. Usually I see like a maple syrup drizzle on mm -hmm. top, or the icing itself is more maple tasting. Mm. But it's still like a really good donut. Yeah, I think I'm gonna finish this. Okay, you can finish it. <laughs> it's good, right? <laughs> the second donut we're trying from Spiga Bakery is the Nutella donut. As you can see, it is super full of Nutella. So I might just take like a couple bites of this because this is really intense. Mmm. Donut's very light and nice, and it's topped with powdered sugar and cocoa powder. There's no attractive way to eat this. It's pretty much <laughs> just exactly what you would expect. It's Nutella in a donut, and it works. I don't think I can eat too much of this right now, though, because we have two more shops to go to, and I have to save space in my stomach. Alex, you want to try? Oh, wow. Hold on. The donut is so light. I feel like they did it on purpose because they know the Nutella is going to be heavy. Good commentary. Mm -hmm. They know what they're doing. They do know what they're doing. <laughs> the last donut we're trying from Spiga Bakery is the cannoli donut. I love cannolis, so I'm very excited for this. There's cannoli cream on the inside with some chocolate chunks, and there's like parts of the cannoli shell kind of broken up on the top. Mmm. Mmm. That's good. The donut is like the same kind as the Nutella donut, which makes sense. The cream tastes great. I love the little chocolate chips in there. Very good. Again, especially for like $1.50 to $1.75, my three donuts were $7.50 total. And then I got an extra one because someone just happened to be taking a picture of a maple bacon donut and didn't want it anymore. What's $7.50 divided by three? Don't make me do math. I think my favorite one out of everything is probably the maple bacon. And then this is second, and then Nutella third. Alex, you try, and then you do a ranking. Alex has been saying that he can't eat too much, and then he like proceeds to finish all the donuts. 
<laughs> okay, okay. The cream's good, right? The cream's really good. That's really creamy. It's really nice. Okay, so smooth. what's your ranking then? Ranking? Maple bacon number one as well. Okay. Okay, the same ranking as you actually. Okay, we're gonna go to the next place now. <laughs> Our next stop is Doology in Limbrook. We are parked right by Doology, which is in Lindbrook. I have to say, I already love this place. Our church used to meet right by here, like literally a two or three minute drive away. And we would come here like every Sunday. So I already have some personal favorites that I'm gonna have Alex try. We're going in now, bye. to our final stop of the day, Doe Hut in Long Beach. I have to say Doology has great donuts, but definitely does not beat the price of Spiga Bakery. Like, I don't think I've ever gotten specialty donuts for like under $2. So even though I think Doology is not super expensive, it is more expensive than Spiga Bakery. But again, donuts are great, so I think it's worth it. Doe Hut we go! We've just parked a block away from Doe Hut. I'm getting really full, but we are gonna try to have at least one more donut each. And we are by Long Beach, so hopefully we'll be able to kind of end this vlog by the beach because both of us really like the beach. But it's also freezing! So I don't know if we'll do that. Okay, I guess we'll just go in now. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. I've had so many donuts. It's so cold! We just got our donuts from Doe Hut and I just wanted to talk a little bit about the prices and the flavors that were there. So there were maybe like 12 to 14 different flavors there. I will say that the donuts did look significantly smaller than the ones from Spica Bakery and from Doology, but they looked really appetizing and really cute. There are some flavors that are only there on certain days. So I overheard the person working there saying that on Monday, Wednesday, Friday, and weekends, they have blueberry. And on Tuesdays and Thursdays, they swap it out for cookies and cream. So today we saw the cookies and cream and the donuts vary in price depending on what kind they are so we got a pistachio donut that was 225 we got a vanilla buttercrumb that was 175 and then we got a s'mores that was 225 there are also some that are 125 but i think those are probably the more plain ones like there's a cinnamon sugar one there was a glazed one there were like strawberry and chocolate sprinkle ones but we didn't get those so i don't actually know how much they are so we are gonna head to the beach and try the donuts there it is really cold, so we'll see how long we last out there. 
we are parked right by the beach. We are not going to eat outside because it's really freaking cold. So we're gonna try a little bit of each donut here. I really can't eat more than a bite, like a small bite of each donut because I've had so much sugar. But this is the s'mores donut and I'm gonna try it right now. Hmm. The chocolate glaze on it reminds me of something, but I can't think of what. The donut is nice. It's actually like a tiny bit salty, in my opinion, which I like because there's so much sweetness happening on top. So the donut is good, and then there's a chocolate glaze, and then sort of like a marshmallow icing thing happening that has graham cracker crumbs like sticking to the top of it. So you have all the classic components of a s'more on a donut. I have to say, like, it looks really sweet, but I don't think it's that sweet. It tastes pretty good. Alex, you try. Oh, man. Bro, I don't know how many I can eat anymore. Like, <laughs> I think you'll like it. Here we go. Mmm. It's not too overwhelming, right? Mm, 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 mm. The marshmallow, I have no idea how they really got this consistency because it is really soft. Mm. And you think that, you know, maybe after melting it to make it into this consistency, it would solidify again, but it's not, which is very interesting. I don't know how they did this. Science. Yeah. It's really dense, I will say that. Okay. Which is not a bad thing. I like a nice bit of chew, so. Mm. You like? It's really good. Aww. On to the next one. Next up is the pistachio donut. I love anything pistachio, and these are such huge pistachio nuts. So here we go. Mm. It's good. I think the donuts are all the same, which is fine. You know what it is? I think I can tell that these are fried a little more than the other donuts that we've had. I love pistachios. I do think if I were making the donut, I would probably chop up the pistachios into smaller pieces because when you take a big bite like I just did, you kind of have to bite through all the pistachio and then start tasting like the actual donut and the glaze. I love pistachio, so it's fine for me. I just feel like if you don't love pistachio that much, you might not enjoy having like an entire mouthful of like pistachio. I'm enjoying this. Okay, Alex. I will say I'm not the biggest pistachio guy, like nuts. Anyways. <laughs> oh. Oh, but it's good though. Mm. I, okay, I was gonna say, I kind of like the sugary hard shell outside of the pistachio, even though it might be like a little bit big and like in the way, it almost gives it like this candied pistachio kind of taste, which I really appreciate. <sighs> I am so full, bro. <laughs> we got one more. You look kind of slanted. No. <laughs> we are finally on our very last donut of the day. This is vanilla butter crunch. Hmm. It's exactly what you think it'll be. It's not super sweet. I feel like I can taste a lot more of the actual donut than the vanilla icing on top, which is fine. That actually kind of tastes a lot like a plain donut. I think if I had to rate these, pistachio number one, vanilla second, s'mores third. Alex, you try and then you give a ranking. Okay, I guess I'm just going in. It kind of tastes like a plain donut, but I think the subtleness of the cream on top really amplifies how, like, well-constructed this donut is. Because, <laughs> I don't know, I mean, like, if you see, it's very flaky on the outside. Yeah. But it's super soft on the inside, so I think this gives me an appreciation of that. Let me rank this, bro. You really like the pistachio. I actually really like the... Even though pistachios are kind of mid. No, they're not! Pistachios are mid. I think pistachios is definitely number one. S'mores, number two. Vanilla... Butter crumb. Butter, butter crumb, number three three nice that concludes our donuts of long island vlog thank you so much for watching make sure you like share subscribe follow me on my social media accounts and i will see you next time bye <laughs>